I, I, well, I moved to Dallas in 1941, and then I went into service in 43, and then I went back to Dallas in 46, and in 47 I left and came out here. I was uh, stationed in Reno for two years, and I came over once on a furlough in, in July, and in my khakis, and I froze to death at night. I didn't know that July and August were the winter months. <laughs> And, oh, I remember walking down the street by the Curran, and they had pictures of these Norwegians dancing. And I thought, oh, who wants to go see a show with the Norwe Norwegian dances? And I got back to Reno, and it was Song of Norway. And I could have seen it at any time here because it opened here. I was furious because <laughs> it, it was a wonderful show. And after the war, uh, there were four of us that wanted to leave Texas and, and come out. And I wanted to go to L.A. And they said, no. Uh, we, we gauged the people had gone to San Francisco and L.A. And when they came back to Dallas, and we decided the ones from San Francisco were a lot nicer. They were. They were had more character and everything. You fell in love with the city the first time you came here? Or it was oh, I loved it. Yeah. I always loved it. Mm -hmm. It's the most exciting city in the world. But I still have to stop and think where what street you go down to get a certain part on market. <laughs> I worked for Patrick and Company down on market, and uh, it, it was a stationary house, and it was fun. I felt like it was a party every day, and I was the host. <laughs> oh, one other thing. I was responsible for them changing the song of the city back to San Francisco, too. Warren Hinkle was in here one night, and... Uh, I was playing San Francisco tapes, and he got he liked uh, I'm Always Drunk in San Francisco, which it, it's not drunk, it's talking about intoxicated by the city. And he liked it, and I said, well, I always wanted to change the song of the city. And he said, well, let's do it. I said, no, Diane would never permit it, because we'd tried it once before with the... Uh, uh, Merle Zellerbeck and her, her husband, Fred Gurner, and that didn't work. Diane cut that off right away because she liked to go to strange cities and have them play I, uh, I Left My Heart in San Francisco when she got off the plane. Well, anyway, <laughs> we did get it changed. Now, San Francisco's the official song, and I Left My Heart's the official ballad. And then later we found out that in 1936, the mayor had made San Francisco the official song of the city, but they didn't remember that and it had never been rescinded. So all the time it was the official song of the city. And George Curry hated me because every time anything, they said anything about San Francisco, he thought that, he said MGM was behind me. <laughs> they never heard of me.